join kids hat family you tofu you're sneezing achu take this handkerchief why do we sneeze almost anything that irritates or tickles inside your nose can cause you to sneeze like dust pollens cold air pets and pepper can cause sneezing happens when we sneeze the nose is an extremely sensitive organ that regulates the air we breathe it makes sure we breathe clean and healthy air air sometimes has tiny particles that are unsuitable for us when we sneeze our nostrils expel the irritating particles It could be dust, Achoo. flowers, pepper bottle, Achoo. and pets. Achoo. You can also sneeze a lot when you are suffering from cold as the lining of your nose is swollen. Sneezing can send tiny particles speeding out of your nose at up to 100 miles per hour. So what's the process? When the inside of your nose gets a tickle, a message is sent to a special part of your brain, and the brain sends a message to all the muscles that have to work together to sneeze. Did you realize that you always close your eyes when you sneeze? Really? Achi! Achi! Yes, you are right. <laughs> oh, look there. It's a rainbow. Yes, a rainbow tofu. Can you tell me all the colors in the rainbow? Violet, indigo, blue green yellow orange and red vibgyor that's the way to remember it all seven colors and it looks so pretty but how is a rainbow formed rainbows are spectacular rays of color sunlight looks white but it's really made of different colors a rainbow is seen when the sun shines after the rain hmm white light is made of seven colors wow what's this it's a prism okay let me explain it to you with the help of a prism the sun forms a rainbow when white light passes through raindrops the raindrops act like tiny prisms when sunlight passes through a raindrop it bends and scatters into the band of colors this can be reflected back to you as a rainbow but where do i look for a rainbow you need to remember three things first It must be raining. It must be raining. Second, the sun must be shining. The sun must be shining. Third, 
You must be between the sun and the rain. Okay, Tofu. Now let's enjoy watching the wonderful rainbow. Now that's quite interesting, Tofu. Technically, the moon does not shine by itself because it has no light of its own. It appears to shine because of the sunlight that reaches it. Ah, Tofu, let's go home. I'll explain you how the moon shines. Hold this ball in your hands, Tofu. And I'll hold this flashlight in my hand. Okay, but what do they represent? The flashlight in my hand represents the sun, the ball in your hand represents the earth and the mirror on the wall represents the moon. Do you see the mirror shining and that light getting reflected on the ball tofu? Yes! This is what happens. The moon just reflects the light of the sun and what we see is the reflection of that light. Oh! The moon reflects only 7% of the sun's light and then glows softly. The fact that it glows softly and reflects only 7% of sun's light is that it absorbs most of the light that falls on it from the sun. Now I know why the moon looks so beautiful. <laughs> now time to sleep, Tofu. season? Before telling you why trees shed their leaves, do you know Tofu how trees get their energy? Energy? Yes, energy. Just like we eat food to get energy, trees make their food too to get energy. How do they make their food? Trees use sunlight from the sun and water from the ground to make their food. The leaves use the sunlight and water to make food. But I didn't understand why do they shed leaves? When the winters set in, the days become shorter and the sunlight is hardly available. So when sunlight is not available, the trees cannot make food. Rather than continuing to make food with little sunlight, they go in a rest position by shedding their leaves. This way, they use very little energy and have just enough water and nutrition stored in their trunks to stay alive till spring arrives. 
When spring arrives, the temperature goes up and there is more sunlight. New leaves grow and cover the tree once more. Oh! But why do I see some trees not shedding their leaves all throughout the year? That's because there are some tree species that retain their leaves all throughout winters. They are called evergreen trees. That's because these trees are used to the cold and have very deep roots that can reach water and nutrition even in snowy conditions. Wow! After so much interesting information, I think I need some food too. Let's go and ask mum what's for dinner. Wait, I'll look for the torch. Oh, thank God! But Tia, why is it that we can't see in the dark and only in light? That's because Tofu, in order to see, the eyes must receive light and darkness is the absence of light. I didn't get you, dear. Most of the objects we see around us are visible by reflected light, reflected sunlight or reflected artificial light. You are able to see these objects because light reflects and this reflected light is what becomes a mirror image in our eyes. Since darkness is the absence of light, there is no light in the darkness to be reflected from chairs, tables or people to our eyes and therefore we cannot see these objects. But we are able to see in the dark after some time. Why is that then? You have probably noticed that it is difficult to see objects inside a house when you have just come in from the bright sunlight. After you have been in the house a little while, your eyes adapt themselves to the dimmer light and you can see perfectly well. Oh, thank God! We have torches when it gets dark. <laughs> For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.